Greetings and a happy seventh day of Christmas to all my St. Peter's family. Due to the rise of COVID-19 infection in our community, some of which has touched our own church family, and with our Bishop's pastoral direction, we will not be offering indoor in-person worship for the next two Sundays. We'll continue to worship outdoors at 8 a.m. every Sunday in the courtyard, and that service will happen regardless of temperature. If it's below 50 degrees, we're gonna shorten the service a little bit, but bundle up and come join us. The only thing that will cancel that service is precipitation. And we'll also continue our live stream at 9 a.m. every Sunday on YouTube and on Facebook. But I recognize that not everyone has been able to connect with outdoor worship or with our live stream. They are so different from the ways we usually worship together. So we're adding another way for you to worship, home church. That's why I'm joining you today from my kitchen table with my Advent wreath and my Christmas tree behind me. If you've had trouble connecting with the live stream or with outdoor worship, this is for you. Every Saturday morning from 9.30 to 10 a.m., you can come to St. Peter's and pick up a bulletin for home church as well as pre-consecrated communion for you to receive. This is designed to be done on your own or with family members or friends who are in your bubble. The service has prayers, it has readings, the same ones that we'll be reading in church. It has reflection questions on the Bible readings. It has uh, prayers for the sick, for our mission as a church, and of course, for communion. At the right time in the service, you'll say the confession, say the Lord's Prayer, and then receive the pre-consecrated host. This is designed for you to do from your kitchen table or from your coffee table or from wherever in your home has become that place of prayer for you. You might want to bring your Bible or your prayer book or if you have a hymnal at home. You could also bring some devotionals. These are two that I've used that I really love this one is called A Diary of Private Prayer, and this is From the Fathers to the Churches. Uh, this is a prayer resource, and this one has readings from our early uh, church fathers and mothers that are very applicable to our lives today. Make this a, a holy space and a special time of true worship. It still won't be what we're used to, but it will be good, and you'll be able to connect with God. I hope that you're staying safe right now, and I look forward to regathering again. In the meantime, I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday in the way that's best for you. You remain in my prayers, and Merry Christmas.